Uh, welcome to Vanderbilly.com. In uh, part two here, we're going to look very quickly at the uh, the chorus, and then uh, to the extent that there's an outro, uh, we'll look at that and uh, the kind of lead that uh, Noel Gallagher is playing against that. Uh, so let's take a look. Okay, for the chorus, you've just come out of playing... Uh, You're going to move directly to an A chord, and then a power E, and you do this little riff where you just, um, it's just basically um, the E string 4th fret, and then the two notes of the power E, and then back to the um, E string 4th fret, and then the uh, A string 2nd. So. And at speed, that's just like... So, um, the chorus goes... And then he moves uh, up on that third time uh, to this D suspend 2, it's just a regular D chord, uh, Minus the uh, leaving the first string open, and then an A, and just hit the A and let it ring, and uh, hit a few beats. So, it's and then E, regular E, D suspend to an A. do that four times and then he has this little uh, lead riff that he puts in there where you're just um, you're just gonna go up to the G string uh, 11th fret you're gonna bend it up a half step and back down and then bit down to the uh, G string 9th fret and then down to um, the G string, sixth fret, same thing, half half note bend, and then down to the fourth, and then slide down to the first fret of the G string and play an E chord. So, um, and then you, you play regular E. And you vary it with an E suspend four, which is just putting your pinky down on the G string second fret. So, and then uh, you move right from there to the that modified F sharp chord, and play your little riff. And you're into the next verse, uh, and that's uh, that's basically how the, the the chorus into the verse goes. Okay, there's not not a real outro in this. Uh, you know what he's doing at the end is uh, there's a little bit of lead playing. He's playing it over um, this, but uh, you can play it um, up here using this open E chord. And up until this point, all of the, the incidental lead that he's been playing is in the E major kind of time. So he's been playing things like, you know, uh, like the... That's all... E major, but towards the end he moves into the E minor pentatonic, which would be this on the twelfth fret, and so against he's playing. That kind of stuff. And not a lot of movement, uh, you know, basically only using those notes. Uh, that kind of thing. So I think if you, you fool around with that a little bit, you'll pick it up. And then the song ends with just an E chord. And then more quietly, he plays the A. And the D suspend 
two. And he just lets that ring. That's uh, that's how it ends, at least on the studio version. Um, so it's a you know, it, it's a pretty hard driving rock and roll song. I, I think it's a lot of fun, and uh, hope you enjoy it. Take care.